Morning people, morning people. Today, we're gonna be talking about big days in the market. Big days. What's a big day? All right? What is really a big day? A big day is super subjective. It's based on where you are in your career and that kind of stuff when it comes to trading and that kind of stuff. Or even, you know, in any field. But at the same time, we're gonna relate this to the markets overall, all right? A big day. My first big day was probably when I made a couple hundred dollars. A couple hundred dollars in one day. Why? Because at my job, I wasn't making a couple hundred dollars a day. So technically, a couple hundred dollars a day is a big day. You know what I'm saying? Um, my first huge day, once I actually realized the potential and that kind of stuff, I had my big day of a thousand dollars in one day in April 2015. That was a huge day. I'm walking out of class. I'm walking out of class and that's what I see on my on my screen is a thousand dollars in profit. That's a big day. So as you keep on going, you know, over time, obviously these days are gonna not really obvious, but if you plan on growing in your skill set, big days are gonna be bigger numbers and that kind of shit based on you just being used to certain numbers or used to used to seeing certain numbers all right so now break it down as to why even a thousand dollars a day is sweet you know what i'm saying a thousand dollars a day that's 30k a month you know um 20 trading days like 20k a month thousand dollars a day all right so put it this way one thousand dollars in one day that could pay for probably most of a person's rent that could probably pay for um, a car note. That could pay for definitely like a light bill, a water bill. You know, it could pay for a lot of bills, knocking shit out. Let's say you had a 10K day now. Let's say over time now you're getting better, this and that. You know, things are a bit different now. 10K in one day. That's $10,000 in one day. Off of working one day, you're able to pay let's say a luxury car car note, you're able to actually pay a mortgage of like, let's say three, four, five thousand dollars or even less. You're able to, you know, go out to eat, you know, that kind of stuff, buy groceries, stock up your, your fridge for the entire month off of still one work day or like one nice day. You are able to, you know, Take your kids shopping and that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? And you still got money left over. Mind you, it's still 19 trading days left. Now, over time, you know what I'm saying? I got, you know, I have my big days, 100Ks and, and that kind of shit. I have students that's doing that as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, post them all the time. James, James actually made a couple hundred thousand dollars this past week right here. I told him, yo, bro, go buy a crib. I'm saying that's easy a down payment and that kind of shit to um, get a crib. So a big day is super subjective and over time obviously it gets it gets a little different. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 what your version of a big day is is based on where you currently are in your your journey and that kind of shit. So <laughs> when it comes to you know seeing five thousand dollars in profit stop and think about it stop and think like god damn like it's, it's, it's only five thousand dollars but think about it it's only five thousand dollars that 5k could have paid your mortgage done out of your mind that could have paid you know a couple car notes that that could have paid credit card bill you know what i'm saying it could knock out a lot of shit so when you see certain numbers on your screen and certain numbers that that that, that you're trading towards always stop and think about it you know what i'm saying 10k is still 10k 5k is still five thousand dollars you know ten thousand dollars is still ten fucking thousand dollars you know a hundred thousand dollars is still a hundred thousand dollars that's what some lottos are that like that's what some like you know lottery that people are playing for is to get a hundred thousand dollars but 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 you're making it so at times um you can't get like too too lost in the sauce and forget the value of a dollar. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta like 
if you're up a good amount and that kind of shit, like, yo, stop and think about it. Like, yo, damn, I'm, I'm up 25K. But damn, I could be up so-and-so, but hold on. But you're still up $25,000. That's a lot of money still. That's that's a person's, you know, annual salary at times. You know what I'm saying? Coming straight out of um, straight out of college sometimes. Or I think. So don't get lost in the sauce at times. You know what I'm saying? Just like really... When you're up a certain amount, stop and think. Like, take a step back and like, God damn, like, well, what can I do with this money right now? You know? That way you could, um, you know, your mindset doesn't actually go over to the point that you're forgetting, you know, what each value of each dollar is. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, imagine a hundred thousand of these, a hundred thousand of these. 100,000 of these just there You know It's it's different um, and, and as you actually grow In your field Money's going to become a bit different So I got Some funds over here somewhere This is what, uh, a couple hundred, 20s, probably like about 150, 180 or some shit, right? Um, imagine this times, times 80, times 100, it's a fucking stack now, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could use that money every single day on expenses, on this, on that, and up, and still have money. So every single time that, that you're up a good amount inside of markets, take a step back, think about it. What could I do with this money like right now? What could this pay for? Can I go on vacation? Yo, imagine you're up 25K in one day. You could, you could go on a fucking crazy ass vacation, bring the family, whatever, you know? Everything. So don't lose sight of the value of a dollar because once you do, shit gets real nasty you know what i'm saying i've been through it and i, and I always say I, I give advice based on experience it's based on just history just you know i've been there before you know what i'm saying so i know how to speak about it and that kind of shit so just remember that so if you're up a certain amount you know what i'm saying in whatever field that you're in stop and think about it what can i do with this money like right now just so you don't feel greedy and that kind of shit to want more you know, so don't forget that Q tips of the day. I'm holla at y'all. Peace out. Comment, like, you know what I'm saying, give some feedback to this video right here. All right, so I might drop more. Let's see what happens. All right, peace.